What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. I'm sorry I have not recorded. I've actually been a little bit sick, um, and by a little, I mean a lot, but um, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I actually am playing against one of my, um, I'm gonna call you a friend if you don't mind, but uh, Slagathor, uh, he actually reached out to me on one of my comments on my YouTube, and um, he actually brought me back to my old Instagram, which I haven't used in a long time. Um, <clears throat> but um, I'm battling Sagathor. He's bringing a really cool team, as you guys saw. And I'm kind of, uh, I don't know what to say because my OBS studio kind of panicked from where I haven't used it in a, while, in, a, in a while. So I kind of just started the video abruptly. But it's your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome to a brand new Wi Fi battle. We're using a brand new team here. Oh, Halucha. And um, I'm going to introduce my team as I normally do in just a moment. But. Uh, my opponent brings in the Minxiao, or I bring in the Minxiao, my opponent brings in a beautiful Alucha. Um, so just to kind of introduce my team really quick, we got the Primarina with the Choice Specs. We got the Minxiao with the Choice Band, because I absolutely love Minxiao. Um, we got the Vile Plume, which I haven't used in a little long time since my first Wi-Fi battle or so. Obstagoon, which I haven't used in my first since my first Wi-Fi battle also. We got the Corviknight, who's a self rock setter. And then we got the uh, Choice Scarf Blaze Fallon, which is going to be beautiful in this Wi-Fi battle. Um, honestly, I don't feel comfortable staying in against my opponent. He actually outspeeds me. At least I think. Let me take a look. Um, 172. I'm rusty with my speed tears all of a sudden. I am afraid of the Halucha, so I'm honestly just going to go ahead and go for the Corviknight. Um, I've actually battled Slagathor once already. I'm um, kind of just like an exhibition match while I was sick. But, um, yeah. Home class. Very interesting. Um, he's probably running high jump kick. And, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. I have nothing for Halucha. Nothing at all. Um, Defog doesn't move. It lowers evasiveness, so I don't, I don't know why I came into the Corviknight. Why am I panicking right now? I don't know why I'm panicking against a Halucha. Now, I think I know what I'm going to do, though. So, um, he's probably going to go... Oh, he withdraws. So, U-turn kind of played in my favor. So, Goon, who is this? Oh, okay. The Dusknor. No, Dusclops. Dusclops. Yeah. I'm, I'm rusty, boys. I'm rusty, and I don't even know why. I love the fact that he's bringing in a Dusclops, because it's, uh, it's very underrated, in my opinion. Now, here's what I'm going to do next. Um, I haven't taken a chance to really scope his team, so I don't really know what he's going to go into, and I can't think ahead right now. But I think what I want to do is go into the Obstagoon. Primarina, Primarina should be able to do the trick also. I like Obstagoon because of the knockoff though, and we can get rid of the Evil Light. I'm gonna go Obstagoon because we can actually knock off anything that my opponent brings in. And um, it's gonna give us a little bit of an advantage, and we also get the, the um, burn by the Flame Orb. So um, I feel really, really comfortable just going for the knockoff here. And this should bring this goon to its knees. At least I'm hoping. Because that gives us a plus one boost, because we're Guts. Um, we're Jolly Nature, so the Adamant Nature is going to take into effect. But even then, Stab Super Effective Knockoff that's boosted with the Evil Light, that's going to be very, very good. That's going to be very good. So I feel really confident and comfortable staying in against the Dusclops. I feel really, really good. How have you guys been, by the way? I've been, I've been better, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so he comes out into Violet. That's going to be the... I knew it. The Serena. We're going to go ahead and knock off its Choice Scarf or Choice Band or whatever it's using. And baby, that does a wide lens. Interesting. Okay, so I don't remember if this thing outspeeds. I think it is actually a speed tie. I feel comfortable staying and going for the facade. Come on, outspeed. I think my speed... I think I'm 85 speed and I think that's 80 speed. I'm, I'm almost confident. I did beautiful damage. I'm, I'm, I love Obstagoon. The first time I used an Obstagoon, it was also a Flame Orb. I was actually thinking about bringing in a Choice Banded Obstagoon with the Reckless and and um, and the Double Edge. That would be that would be disgusting. Imagine, I should have done that. Okay, so I do outspeed. The Serena is going to go down. I wonder. I, I'm almost wondering if he brought in the Serena as Death Fodder. I'm almost curious to see if that is the case. I hate doing this. I'm gonna check my phone because my girlfriend's actually. Um, 
Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay, so um I honestly don't know what to think right now. Uh, if he goes into the Tyrannosaur, I got the close combat. The only thing I am afraid of is the Hawlucha. Um, I can probably predict a Home Clause. I'm going to predict the Home Clause. I think he's going to go for that. Obstagoon is really very valuable to me, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be bold. I'm going to be very bold right now, and some of you guys are going to scream at the TV or your phone or your computer or whatever you guys are watching me on. But I'm going to be very bold, predict the home clause, predicting that I'm going to switch out Dynamaxes. Okay. So he's not, he's going to hit me with the Max Knuckle, I already know. Okay. So I kind of got to think ahead here. Um, we played around Dynamax before, we played around it plenty of times, so I'm not really worried to an extent. I'm not really worried to an extent. I just, I am afraid of the home clause or him setting up. So he's gonna get max knuckle plus one. I should have gone for the obstruct, man. That's my bad for over predicting. And I have a tendency of doing that if you're new to the channel. <laughs> very, very a bad habit of over predicting. So my opponent um, unfortunately knocks this out. I feel kind of comfortable going to, no, 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 no. I can't do anything with Corvid Knight. Min Shao might be good. I don't know. Um, I mean, I can kind of... Gosh. Psy Shock. Psy Shock is going to be the move. I'm going to set up the Psychic Terrain here. Um, I don't know how Psychic... Uh, this is going to be a Halucha sweep. I already know. I already know. I let him set up with the Halucha, and that's my bad. But I think... Um, I think we max Mindstorm here because we do outspeed it. We are um, timid nature, so we don't. We're not gonna get a, a benefit um, from knocking this thing out. To be quite frank, this thing's actually gonna lift my attack. I already know. Even though Blaze Fallon has an amazing, amazing, amazing um, speed and special attack, it's very frail. So I'm kind of wasting my Dynamax. The reason I'm going for this is because what? How do you outspeed me? I do live barely. So there is that, but even that, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. All right, knockout, please, please. It's not even close. I didn't think it was gonna be close. Okay. I'm assuming it's using acrobatics. Now, I actually am gonna save the Billy's Fallon, and here is why. I got the choice scarf, which means I can possibly outspeed the um gosh darn what's your name halucha now what am i going to predict here probably a, um the special attack so i'm going to go corbinite i don't think he has any stealth rock setters because he would have gone for them right now halucha is probably running roost though so i think what i'm going to do here i'm going to go into the um i'm going to go out into the um corbinite if corbinite gets knocked out then that that's it um but next turn i'm going to go ahead and u-turn Obviously, it's not gonna get knocked out, but I meant this next turn if he goes high jump kick and knocks me out Then it is what it is. Um, hopefully he is afraid of the brave bird, which I am not running by the way um, Don't ask me why I'm not running brave bird but I Feel really really comfortable going into the blaze Fallon here because I think um, I think we'll be okay Let's go ahead and u-turn here, and I'm gonna go blaze Fallon or Blaze Fallon. I, I don't know. I've never used this Ultra Beast before. This is the first time I've ever used an Ultra Beast. Roost. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, and I'm comfortable with that. So you're going to get a pretty good chunk of your health back, and I'm going to go ahead and U-turn here. He probably knew I was going to U-turn, and he probably knows that I'm not running the, the flying attack right now, which is okay by me, because I'm going to go into Blaze Fallon, and I'm going to hope for the best. I'm gonna hope for the best. Okay. Come on, baby. Outspeed. Please outspeed. Come on. He's probably confused as to why I'm going back into the Blaze Fallon, but that reason behind that is because I'm Scarfed, and I'm hoping the Scarf plays out. This thing is fast, and it's not fast enough. That one's on me. Now, what I kind of want to do, I really need to wear this Halucha down. I really, really do, because it's gonna, it's gonna punch holes through my team. It's gonna poke holes, I already know. Um, what I kinda wanna do, and it's very stupid of me to do so, is go Vileplume. Uh, maybe Pre Marina. Maybe Pre Marina. Oh my god, this guy. 
This guy got me good. He got me good with the Dynamax, and I forgot that Haluch is very good when it Dynamaxes. So I'm gonna go for the Moon Blast here. I am Specs, and I'm hoping I live at least one attack. Just one. Just one, that's all I ask for. Go for the high jump kick. <laughs> I hope he misses the high jump kick, and that's really bad for me to wish that against my opponent, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to win, right? I got a feeling it's Haluch to sweep, though. I got a very good feeling. Okay, so he withdraws. I'm gonna go Hyper Voice here. What are you going out into? Razzle the Toxapex. I thought so. And I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I know his Pokemon has punched holes on my team, but I think this is a good time for me to go into possibly Corviknight. That did good damage and lowers the special. Um, maybe he goes out into, what does this thing have that can beat me? Nothing really. I wish I had um, the Psychic type attack. I do have the Psychic type attack, obviously, but um, I'm gonna go out into Vile Plume here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just um, Giga Drain, maybe? I can't Toxic, obviously. I'm not running Toxic, that's the problem. I'm hoping I kinda scare this thing out. <laughs> I'm playing like garbage. Why is it that I always record it and I play like garbage? Why? Can somebody tell me why? I don't know why. Baneful Bunker. I can foresee the Baneful Bunker. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna defog these spikes out of here. Either that or, I don't know. Baneful Bunker. I know you're gonna go for it. Baneful Bunker. I know you want to. I knew it. Read you like a book. Read you like a book. Okay. So what am I gonna do here? I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the time to defog. Um, <laughs> we're kind of at a stall match right now because we can't do anything to each other. Um, I'm honestly just gonna defog. I'm gonna defog, and what do I do next? My weapons are gone. The only two weapons I have is Primarina and Mian Shao, which is kind of rough. I'm glad he goes Baneful Bunker, because I'm gonna go ahead and defog, and then I'm gonna U-turn next. No, I don't think U-turn is the play. It might be, actually. He's probably gonna take this as an opportunity to go into something that might knock me out. His team is underrated. I love this team. I love this team. Withdrawals. Beautiful. I predicted that. Who is this? Oh, Electivire. I'm cool with it. Because here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and come in, U-turn, and then we're gonna go ahead and switch out into the Mian Shao. We're gonna switch into the Mian Shao. My Scarfer is gone, and that makes me sad because I got no answers to Halucha now. Other than Corviknight, of course. But even then, I got nothing for the Halucha. So Mian Shao comes out. We are Reckless Choice banned, and we have seen this Mian Shao before, and we've seen it come back a bunch of times. I'm hoping it, it, I'm hoping it pays off for us. Now, if I do High Jump Kick, he got the Disclops. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna U-turn here. I don't wanna play too aggressively. He withdraws, and I'm gonna U-turn because he's gonna go into the Dusclops. I knew it. I knew it. And I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna go back into the Primarina. That Toxapex that he has is probably a Regenerator Tox Toxapex. So I think what I'm gonna do next, because this thing is gonna wall me. That thing is gonna wall me. So I played it I played it safe, and I did a really good job playing safe. I think what I'm gonna, I have to preserve my Primarina and my Min Shao. Those are the only, that, that's the only reason I'm gonna win this battle. That's the only way I'm gonna win this. So what I'm gonna do here now, I kinda wanna go for the Hyper Voice. I think I'm gonna play the Hyper Voice. I got nothing to lose going for Hyper Voice. We are Specs. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this thing is its physical wall. This is your physical wall. Right? Ah, uh, not enough. Calm mind. That's good. That's good for my opponent. I do fear the Toxapex, and I got no answers for. I, I got some answers for Toxapex actually. I'm pretty sure I can knock this thing out, knock, knock the Toxapex out with the uh, with the Psychic. I'm gonna hyper voice here. He probably knows that this thing is Scarf too, or Specs. I mean, I'm gonna go out into the Toxapex. Yep. And I'm hoping he doesn't know that I have the um, psychic for it. It still does pretty good damage, not gonna lie. I'm afraid of the Scald. 
I am afraid of the scald and I'm afraid of this poison damage kind of racking up. I am afraid of that, not gonna lie. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go out into the Vile Plume. I, I really hate these spikes. I can't go Vile Plume. That's gonna be very stupid of me. Very, very dumb. He's probably gonna go for the Baneful Bunker, and I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go out into the um, Min Shao. I'm gonna knock off its uh, its thing, its uh, Black Sludge. Lots of switching in this battle. Min Shao's already poisoned, so I don't mind that. And he goes Scald. Ah, I overplayed again. He got me. He got me good. He got me good. I know you're gonna go Baneful Bunker here, so now I'm gonna take this opportunity to switch out. I know it, I know it, I know it. And if you do, I'm gonna go into the pre marina. We got the we got specifically for this thing, we got the uh, psychic. And I'm really hoping that we can get a, a psychic off of on this thing because I honestly can't do anything. I, I he has me stuck. I'm I'm trapped. Literally. Recover. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. He has a very good core. Props to him. Okay. Please knock this thing out. And I'm hoping we do. Please knock this thing out. I almost want to energy ball and hide my psychic. He's going to bait full bunker here. No! Oh, he's reading me like a book, if anything. He's going to go for a scald. I should have psychicked, man. I would have beaten this thing. I really should have, though. I hate myself because of that. I really do. I really, really do. I can't, I can't switch. I have to stay in at this point. Now he goes Baneful Bunker. Oh my gosh. This Toxapex won it. Toxapex won it. I'm so upset right now. My blood is boiling. My blood pressure is literally rising up right now. <laughs> I can feel it. I'm a little bit annoyed. That's just how good Toxapex is, and it's a very good Pokemon. Personally, I would have loved to see a Corsola than a Dusclops, but I love that he's using Dusclops, because I haven't seen a Dusclops ever in a battle, other than me using one. And whatever Wi-Fi battle that was, he's dominating this Wi-Fi battle, though. Please get a crit. Please get a crit. Please, 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 please. Nope. He's gonna scald again. And, uh, Baneful Bunker. It's a crit, ladies and gentlemen! Okay, Baneful Bunker it is here, and then I'm hoping I can... Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. That's the Wi-Fi battle. That's it. The only thing I have for the Toxapex now is just the um, knockoff, which honestly is gonna get rid of us. It's gonna it's gonna take us out. Come on, Michelle, I'm rooting for you, my friend. Please take us out. Please please bail us out again. You've done it before. You've done it before. Please bail us out. I almost want to say he's gonna switch, but the way he's been playing, he's been playing excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, man. He's gonna switch and save this Toxapex. I already know. I already know. And if he's we're probably gonna go out into the Tyranitar. I bet you anything you're gonna go out into the Tyranitar. And because of that, please don't make me. Please don't make me regret this. Please don't make me regret this. Come on. I'm rocking back and forth on my chair right now because I'm nervous. I know this is the only way I'm gonna win this. And he goes... He does. Ah, oh, man. I should have just hit knockoff. Why am I playing like this? Why? Obviously, I can't go into the Mian Shao because Mian Shao's done. Mian Shao's done. If I switch it, and that's the only way I'm winning this. I cannot. I can't. I just can't. I don't foresee myself winning this. Yeah, this is a good game. Because all he has to do now is just stall me out with the Toxapex. That's it. This checkmate, because... If I go into the Minshaw, that's my last sweeper. 
and I can't get I can't get over this Toxapex. Honestly, there's a reason why I didn't pack the um, Grass type move on Vile Plume, and it's not like it matters because it'd be neutral. But um, my answer to Toxapex. So when I team build, I like to think of the Pokemon that are biggest, that are most common, right? So we think of Toxapex, we think of Landorus. Um, I didn't think of how well I did think of Hollow Chat, but I thought Choice Scarf was going to honestly get rid of that problem, which unfortunately it doesn't. Um, but and I just realized that my Blaze Fallon doesn't have perfect IVs, and that's probably why Hollow Chat outsped. I'm almost certain. Almost certain. Here comes the goon. Here comes the goon. And of course, nothing new there. But I thought of Halucha, I did, or not Halucha, I thought of the Toxapex, and I said, you know what, if I can somehow sneak in a Psychic with my um, Primarina, or if I can somehow get, um, what's the other move I'm thinking of, a Psy Shock on Bla from Base Fallon, I'll, I'll be set. But unfortunately, that didn't happen, and that's good game. So I'm going to have another battle with him. Um, yeah, we're going to have another battle. Not with this team, though. It's your boy, Daddy Mac. I'll see you guys next time.